This will be an unboxing of the Gigabyte Z87X UD3H motherboard. Now this is the latest uh, in motherboards from uh, Gigabyte. This is the Z87, so this is for Intel Haswell series processors. With Haswell we have a new socket of LGA1150 and that will support Intel's fourth generation of Core i series processors. So things like 4770K, Core i5 4670K will be compatible with this motherboard. If you have a an Ivy Bridge or Sandy Bridge socket 1155 CPU, it will not work with this motherboard. So just keep that in mind if you are, for whatever reason, planning to upgrade to Haswell. So what do we have in the box? An Intel Core Series Z87 chipset, Ultra Dribble 5 Plus, Ultra Cool, all new heatsink design, Ultra Performance, all IR digital CPU power design, Ultra Safe UEFI Dual BIOS, and Ultra USB 3 Plus, 10 USB 3 ports. Best Tech Award winner since 2007. And that's pretty much it that we've got on the front. If we go to the back of the box, we can look at the information in a little bit more detail. Durable black solid caps, uh, Intel LAN with uh, high SD protection, 15 karat gold plated CPU socket, all IR digital power design. Uh, gaming headphone amplifier for the front headphone, an enhanced audio experience. So you do have amplified audio. It's nice to see on a board having a, a slightly better integrated audio. SLI crossfire support, exclusive UFI dual BIOS, on off recharge. So even if the computer is powered off, you can still charge mobile devices. Uh, new heat sink design for better cooling, 10 USB 3.0 ports. 8 SATA 3 ports, that is a, a big change. The previous um, sort of uh, reference uh, style design of, of Z78 um, motherboards and Z, uh, Z77 motherboards and Z68 motherboards, they only maybe have two, maybe four SATA 3 gigabit per second ports. So now you have eight. So if you, you know, have uh, a few SSDs, or if you have a, a, a lot of uh, high performance drives, something like. Um, you might have a sort of RAID class or sort of drives or Velociraptors, you will have that extra ability to have faster SATA ports, which is always an added bonus. We've got a debug display, which is nice to see on a lower tier UD3 class of motherboard. Uh, additional PCI Express power connector. You wanted to hook that up, you need more power for PCI Express. Six fan connectors, it's always a great thing to see, so you can control your fans all on your motherboard with software. We've got a breakdown of the the back panel line out here, which we'll look once we get the motherboard out of the box. Uh, one fuse per USB port, so it protect, protects from overloading, and three times the USB 3 power spec. So when you charge devices via USB, it'll charge approximately three times faster because it has more power going into it. We've got uh, HDMI display port DVI 4K support, which is essentially four times 1080p, so 1080p, 1080p, and 1080p, 1080p, that's 4K resolution. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's take it out of the box and let's have a look at this motherboard in a little bit more detail. We've got a bit of a cardboard separator here. Again, it's because it's a lower tier motherboard. The packaging isn't necessarily as flash as what you'd see on a UD5 or a, a UD7 class motherboard, but packaging isn't really what uh, matters with this sort of a board. It's about the feature set and getting it all set up. So we can see it's in an anti static bag. And ground yourself before handling any uh, electrostatic sensory devices. Okay, so we've got the motherboard here itself. Got this bit of uh, protective foam that I'll just remove. I really like the color scheme with this motherboard. It's got a blue and sort of a uh, silver theme, and black and silver with. With the memory dims here, I'll just uh, close the box down itself so we can get a better look and then we can look at the accessories in a little bit. So, what do we have? Well, let's first look at the PCI Express breakdown because that's the first thing that's drawn my eye to. We've got a single PCI Express X1, PCI Express X16 slot at full X16 bandwidth, another PCI Express X1, another PCI Express X1, another PCI Express X16 lane that is only wired up to 8x electrically. And then we have a PCI Express X16 slot that's only wired up to X4, so it's not recommended that you uh, install a graphics card in this slot. The, the, it's recommended that you use the top PCI Express 16, but if for, if for whatever reason you can't put it there, or if there's uh, another device that needs more bandwidth, then the uh, second PCI Express X16 that's wired up to X8 
uh, will be the preferred choice. We also have a PCI for any sort of legacy hardware that you do need to run. So let's turn to the, the back panel and get that sort of over and done with. We have a PS2 keyboard mouse combo, two USB 3 ports, VGA, DVI, uh, that does not carry an analog app. So if you, you couldn't adapt that down to a VGA. We've got a digital audio out, we've got HDMI, and we have display port. Two more USB 3, two more, uh, we've got two eSATA ports, Intel uh, Gigabit uh, Ethernet, two more USB 3, and then 7.1 channel HD audio out. We turn to the uh, this side of the board, we can see we've got the uh, SATA port layout. So all of these of which are, are SATA 3, these will be running off a separate chipset, I would imagine. Uh, we've got the 24 pin and the ideal location run inside of the board. We also have the checkpoints, which is something you really don't see on a more budget orientated motherboard. Although, to be said in Australia at the moment, for some whatever reason, probably because of the Australian dollar and because this is quite a new uh, product line, the uh, Haswell series of, of uh, systems with the Z87 and 1150, this motherboard is about 70 to $80 more expensive than it is in the US. In the US, this is about $150, $160 motherboard, and uh, Australia at the moment, it's about $220, $240-ish. So that's, that does uh, sort of shift where you sort of consider this board in sort of the, the price to the sort of the versus the features of the price to performance. Uh, but for something on a class to lower tier UD3 series of board, to have V checkpoints is definitely a nice added feature. We've got BIOS switch, we've got uh, power switch, reset switch, and all sorts of things available here, which is very good if you want to use it for a test bench. We have a USB 3 front panel access available here. And then we've got our front panel uh, connectors. Another USB 3 port with a cover in it at the moment. Never seen one of those before. So you've got uh, two options for a USB 3 front panel. So that brings you, should bring you up to four. Uh, yep, that should bring you up to two, uh, that. And then you've got uh, a lot of USB 2. Now, because USB 3 is more of a, a stand for front panel, you're seeing a lot more USB 2 on the, on the, on the bottom here. We've got trust platform module connector, uh, COM port, and the front panel audio connector is at the bottom left hand corner, which is the ideal location rather than having it behind the audio at the back. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got the A pin up the top, we have two 4 pin CPU power connectors. Up the top here, we've got a, another four pin. I just saw it a moment ago, right near the back panel audio. And we've got where is the, the, the another uh, four pin down here? And then there is a three pin on the right side, and another four pin here. So you've got plenty of, of fan connectors. They said six on the box, so it's going to be no trouble um, hooking your fans up to the, the system so you can control your fans to make sure that's it's silent when you want it to be and, and performing when you need it to be and I think that pretty much wraps it up there's, there's really not much more to say we've got the LGA 1150 socket which is is not compatible with LGA 1155 CPUs and that's that's pretty much it thanks for watching the unboxing of the Gigabyte actually I forgot we've got to have a look at the accessories don't we I suppose that's a little bit much Usually the accessories for Gigabyte motherboards are in the top of the box, but in this case it seems that they're in the bottom. So what have we got? It's probably just the, the standard fare. We've got uh, a Gigabyte Ultra Durable Manual. We've got a, a driver's disc. It's recommended to download the latest from the Gigabyte website. We've got a good Gigabyte powered sticker. We have uh, two SLI, uh, not SLI, uh, two SATA connectors in black. Uh, another two, so that brings a total of four. We have uh, an SLI bridge. Black as well, very helpful. Uh, because you make it uh, with a black PCB bundleable, that'll go very well. We have the IO shield plate, nice and uh, color coded. We have a Gigabyte Limited Warranty warranty Commitments uh, thing, which just says there's a three year warranty for Australia, which is very good. And then a multilingual installation guidebook. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Gigabyte Z87X UD3H motherboard.